Well, hello there, darlings. It's Lord Haughty Naughty here, coming to you from the lush countryside of South East England in the glorious United Kingdom, where we will soon, God willing, be leaving the dreadful dictatorial European Union if Brexit is indeed delivered. But that is another matter. Turning now to the subject at hand is the question of what is happening at Distriba. If you've clicked on this link, you do not need me to tell you what Distriba is, how it has functioned, and what the issues currently are facing the online film aggregator. I am simply coming here quickly, with purpose, to share with you my very brief, very succinct advice, and that is... The days of the independent film aggregator are over. The streaming platform landscape is changing rapidly and radically. You do not need an aggregator and look at the perils and the invariables and the unpredictability and the potential mayhem that can arise if you entrust your film to a single middleman look at the outcome you could be staring at darlings hopefully you never will and anyone who is entangled in the distriber mess i pray with all my heart and soul that you find resolution to your satisfaction i truly do but as i say And I must repeat, I believe the world is changing. This is not 2010 or 2015. The major Hollywood studios are now embarking on their own streaming platform ambitions. Netflix has turned to original programming almost exclusively. There is Amazon. You can upload direct. There is Vimeo. You can upload direct. Even if you use an aggregator, you're driving eyeballs. You are driving traffic yourself to wherever the links exist to your film so why bother using an aggregator at all when the outcome could be your film entangled in a mess the likes of which we are seemingly witnessing with the distriber debacle darlings i am not saying that all aggregators are problematic or potentially problematic far from it There are many very credible, highly respected aggregators out there, and I wish them well. But I believe we are seeing Darwinism at work. Aggregators are becoming obsolete, unnecessary, and extinct. I don't believe the major online platforms, the streaming power bases, I do not believe that they now look upon aggregators as being as necessary as they once were to fill in the independent film programming gaps. Because, as I said, the major streaming platforms are looking more and more at generating their own original programs, darling. And less and less at taking in content from elsewhere. So why would they need aggregators? And why would Hollywood need aggregators anymore? Reportedly, the aggregators that we all know about handled not just independent titles, but were the conduit, the brokerage between the platforms and Hollywood itself. Everybody had to go through them, apparently. But with Hollywood setting up its own streaming platforms, that's a lot less business the aggregators will be able to rely on. And with the major streaming platforms already turning more and more toward their own original content investment, again, that's a big reduction in business for the aggregators. They're being squeezed out by technological Darwinism. There is no future for the film aggregator. You must find ways as filmmakers to go directly to the consumer, to your audience base, to your niche if you have one, or to the mass market in some credible fashion if you don't. Forget about the aggregators. And anyone's advice to you, which is, well, if it hasn't worked with Distriber, why not go with XYZ? Why not go with 
what's her face around the corner or look at him down the road you know there are you have options that's what you're hearing now though oh, there are other aggregators no that business model is broken it's dead it's finished darling those days are over forget the aggregators and my goodness find a way to go to the public directly i have been lord haughty naughty i have one final thing to say this cup of tea has been exquisite farewell <laughs>